Wait, 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 guys, well, what if we set up like, like a little park inside the house and we pretend that it's Disney World? Oh, dude, that'd be cool! Right? Yeah! That, 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 that's what I meant. All right, guys, let's do that. Um, Cody, are you gonna stay dressed up like a woman? Well, after what you said earlier, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I mean, quick show of hands, how many of you guys would take me to Pound Town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll talk later. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi! Oh, uh, what is it, Junior? I got a surprise for you. What, Cody's still dressed like a woman? Uh, I, I mean, yeah, but uh, that's not it. It's something cooler. Uh, what is it, then? Oh, no, just follow me. I want to show you. Oh, my God. Ah, this is so crazy. Have fun, kid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chef Pee Pee, look at this. What the hell is this? Well, we wanted to take you to Disney World since your last day to live, but we decided to bring Disney World to you. So you decided to put a water slide down the stairs? Yeah. Wait, wait is that Mickey Mouse? Uh, yeah, we got him here. Hey, back of the line, you two. No skipping. Uh, uh, we, we have to go to the back of the line, Chef Pee Pee. Are you serious? <sighs> really, Junior, the back of the line? I have 24 hours to live, and I'm in the back of the line. Well, it's like the real Disney World. You got to wait in line. <gasps> I don't even know why I want to get on this ride. I'm already wet. <laughs> the offer's still open. Beavers. Shut up, Cody. You know what? I'm not even going to stay in this line. Oh, Chevy, hold on. We, we can get fast pass so we can get to the front quicker. <sighs> Where do we get that at? Uh, from Goofy. Uh, come on. <sighs> hey, Goofy. Hey there, kiddo. You want a bottle of water or a balloon? Uh, no, we want the fast pass tickets. Oh, in a hurry, are we? Well, that'll be $300. Uh, $300? Junior, that's all they have. Well, I mean, you're going to die today anyway, so why do you need to save your money? <sighs> I guess I'll die broke. Gosh, I'll just add that to the pile. Here's your tickets. Uh, uh, Chevy, can you give me a balloon? Wait, wait a balloon? is $50, Junior. I don't have that money. Oh, uh, well, uh, Goofy, can I get a free balloon? Free? You get the hell out of here. Uh, oh, let's get in line. <sighs> now that we got fast pass, Chevy, we can get to the front of the line quicker. Junior, we're in the same line. Oh, uh, Cody. Yeah? Uh, where's the fast pass line? Oh, this is the fast pass line. Everybody has fast passes. Junior, I hate you! You made me waste $300 just to get a fast pass ticket and we can't even get in the front of the line! Well, you know what? I'm leaving! Well, Chef PB! Dude, that ride was awesome! Guys, Chef PB hasn't liked any of the stuff we've done for him today. Well, it's his fault. We gave him two good options. You see this rack? Could have been his pillow tonight. You know, he could have gone down on that slide or he could have gone down on me. Why is he being so selfish? I don't know. I mean, maybe we're just not thinking cool enough. You know, mm. Cody, if you had one day to live, what would you do? Oh, oh, Junior, you you don't even want to know. Well, be serious, Cody. What, what would you do? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'd get a really cool tattoo on my face. Wait, a, a tattoo? Well, you're going to die anyway. Well, yeah, exactly. I'm going to die, so I can just tat up my face as much as I want. Yeah. That would sound cool. Yeah, Chevy could get, like, a huge tattoo on his face because, I mean, he doesn't have to go out in public anymore. He's going to be dead. Yeah. All right, but well, we can't convince Chevy to do that. He doesn't want to do any of the other stuff we want to do today. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I mean... You can say some things, right? I know you can convince him. You can do make him do anything, right? I, yeah, we, we could try. Yeah, come on. I, let's try to convince him, I yeah, guess. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> hey, Chef Pee-Pee. Uh, don't talk to me, Junior. You made me spend $300, and then you keep annoying me. Well, well Chef Pee-Pee, we're just trying to make your last day alive really fun. Oh, you are? Well, you suck at it. Well, well Chef Pee-Pee, we have a really good idea. <laughs> what is it now, Junior? Well, look, you're going to die today anyway, so how about you tattoo your entire face? Wait, wait tattoo my face? No. No, I'm not going to tattoo my face. For what? Because it would look boss. Yeah, and you're going to die today anyway. So bang me, PP. I'm no and no. I'm not going to tattoo my face. But Chevy, what do you have to lose? Look, you're going to be dead anyway. It'd be really cool to have tattoos all over your face. You never had a tattoo. Well, because I, when I have my funeral, I want people to see my face. I don't want to see him like a gangbanger. Well, I mean, Chevy, let's be honest. No one's going to be at your funeral. <laughs> Come on, Chevy. What do you have to lose? Tattoo your face. Have some fun with your life for the last day that you have it. You know what? Forget it. Fine. Go ahead and tattoo my face. What do I have to live for? Wait, wait really? What do you want a tattoo of? <sighs> Surprise me. What, really? Uh, uh, Cody, do you have a tattoo gun? Oh, hell yeah, I do. All right, all right, Chevy. Just lay down right here, and we're going to tattoo your face. All right, <laughs> all right guys. What are we going to tattoo on his face? Hmm. hmm. Ooh, how about we put thug life on his forehead with teardrops? Oh yeah, I like that, I like that. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, I'll put a penis on his chin that says skeet skeet. Oh, I like oh, that one, yeah, I like that one. Uh, how about a poop on his cheek? Uh, oh, oh, I heart slut. Oh yeah, yeah that's, that's nice. Great. Uh, Cody, just be creative. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, hold still. Ow. And done. <sighs> how does it look? Uh, um, come uh, on guys. Yeah. It, it, it looks pretty cool. Uh, Oh, oh, somebody's at the door. Uh, I'll get it. Oh, no, 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 no. Um.
Hello? Hey there. Well, thug life, huh? What? Uh, nothing, nothing. I have some good news for you. And what is that? See, I, I got your test results confused with cat test results. Wait, wait, wait with a cat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, because I'm a veterinarian and, and I got your blood mixed up with cat blood. It's a whole thing. But but what matters is, is that you do not have feline leukemia. You just have the flu. Wait, wait, wait. I just have the flu, so I'm going to live? Yeah, you're going to be just fine. <laughs> oh, my God. I really hope you didn't do anything too stupid, though. No, no, I didn't do anything too stupid. I just spent all of my money and then got face tattoos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Well, anyway, uh, you, you have a good night and uh, skeet skeet. Oh, man, I'm gonna live, I'm gonna live! Woohoo! Whoa, whoa, who was that door chef, PB? Oh, it was the doctor. He told me that I'm gonna live, I'm not gonna die! <laughs> we should celebrate. Bang me, PB! You know what? What? No. Uh, because what? I'm gonna live, I'm gonna live, I'm gonna live! <laughs> well, I'm glad Chef PB's not gonna die. Yeah, but what about his face, though? Skeet, skeet, Junior. Hey there, Mr. Whiskers. Uh, all right, so uh, turns out I got your test results mixed up, and you don't have the flu like I thought. Uh, you actually have feline leukemia, so you only have about 24. Huh. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go my bad on that one.